Hey, so we're uh, spending the day walking through this creek here. Uh, it's a pretty warm day, but there's this real icy wind blowing through, so it's making everything real freezing cold. So we haven't had much luck yet. We've been flipping rocks and looking for salamanders and snakes and whatever else would be in this creek. But we did manage to find this little guy. It's a little frog. This guy's called the pickerel frog. And if you look at him, he looks almost exactly like a leopard frog. They, uh, you know, they're generally kind of greenish, olive colored, they, uh, browns. And then they have these spots and stripes, and stripes on their legs and spots on their back. Looks just like a leopard frog, except if you look at a leopard frog, the leopard frog has... The, the spots on their back aren't really very uniform. They're kind of all over the place. They're not really arranged in any rows or anything. And they're kind of just small and round and, you know, just everywhere. If you look at the pickerel frog here, if you look down his back, he's got two distinct rows of spots. And the spots are more square-shaped or rectangle-shaped. That's the biggest way to tell them, at least visually, apart. They have different calls and stuff. This guy, when he calls in the springtime, it actually sounds like somebody's snoring. So... They sound a little bit different. The leopard frog sounds like somebody's laughing. So snoring and laughing. <laughs> he, uh, if you flip him over real gently here, he's got, you can see he's got a really bright white belly. And then along his back legs and his front legs here and a little bit on his tummy, he's got this real pretty yellow color. And it's, you know, pretty much like the gray tree frog we looked at last year. They have that real bright yellow. It's pretty cool. And this guy is like icy cold right now because we found him in the water actually. We lift up a rock and he's sitting in this creek water. And this creek water is like freezing. But uh, that's, that's why he's not jumping around too much. This guy, when they're warmed up, they can make huge leaps. They're really powerful jumpers. These guys actually can be found pretty far from water sometimes. I mean, you know, they like the water definitely, but we find them in the middle of the road and stuff all the time. They're a, a pretty common frog around here, I think. People see him and don't know it's a pickerel frog a lot of times because they look so much like the leopard frog. But he's pretty cool. He's really nice colors. and I mean, this is a good size one here. They get a lot bigger than this, but this is a perfect size for handling and stuff because the larger ones, they get about as big as the leopard frog, which is, you know, about that big. And uh, the big ones, really, I mean, they're just powerful jumpers. They're hard to hold on to sometimes. But we're going to go ahead and put this guy back under his rock and let him get back to his freezing his butt off. I guess that's what he's doing today. Hey, so we're just talking about the uh, pickerel frog. It's like five minutes ago, and about how much he looks like the leopard frog. And so we walked maybe five minutes down the creek, and we're flipping up rocks, looking for stuff, and we found a leopard frog that's almost exactly the same size as that pickerel frog was. So you guys can see now how much they look alike. I mean, look at this guy. He looks just like the pickerel frog, doesn't he? He's, if you look at his spots, though, you can see what I'm talking about, how his spots aren't really arranged. They're just, I mean, this guy's really dark, so his spots are almost hard to see. Uh, they can be, like, green almost sometimes. But uh, his spots are just kind of all over the place. This is actually the southern leopard frog. And so he has even fewer spots. His spots are kind of all over the place. And they're just small and round. They're not like those big blocks like we saw in the pickerel frog. But other than that, man, it looks just like him, doesn't it? He's a neat little frog. These guys, just like the pickerel frog, get pretty big. And, uh, you know, they're real powerful jumpers, too. So he's, he's chilled out just like the uh, pickerel frog was. It's cold water. It's got everybody in slow motion today. But just have a look at that, how much that looks alike. We're going to turn him loose and put him back in his water here. Oops.